Hey guys, what is up? This is Anthony it's me Once again, welcome back to another video game review. This time it's going to be on Final Fantasy 16. It's been seven years since we had an official new installment in the franchise, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Kinda counts, but then again, it's a remake. So, this is the true next installment to the franchise, and it's one that we've all been waiting for. In this game, you play as Clive, who has quite a bit of a dark past. He has to stop an evil that is lurking between the world of Final Fantasy. Once again, you and uh, some teammates, you're kind of alone throughout quite a bit of your adventure, so you're not always gonna have teammates that'll help you, but you do get some, mostly with a dog, and yes, you can pet the dog, by the way, and throughout your journey, you hack and slash through uh, various worlds, big amounts of enemies, really crazy bosses, and yeah, it's basically not what most Final Fantasy fans are used to, but I wasn't too big into the turn-based style of Final Fantasy. I mean, I have played a few, though I'm really bad at them. Final Fantasy X, I'm awful at. I think it's just due to the fact that that game has a different build-up than uh, just gaining experience. I mean, I think it's a great game. There are those times where I do want to try and beat the game because the characters and storyline was so good, but I don't know. I'll... I'm, I'm stuck at this one boss, but anyways, I'm here to talk about Final Fantasy 16, and yes, I mentioned hack and slash, which is not the normal way to play Final Fantasy. After Final Fantasy X, Square Enix decided to give Final Fantasy into more of the action genre and less of the turn-based genre. I mean, that's pretty much mostly why Kingdom Hearts was action and not turn-based at all. But uh, I'm, I'm talking about the other games too much. Bottom line is, I do like the Final Fantasy series. And because this was going to be a new big game that was going to be coming out, of course I had to play it. Just in case it wasn't going to be good, I could have rented it. But this game is good. Better than good. In fact, I think it's even better than Final Fantasy XV, which I do like. I just think it's a very flawed game and definitely not as memorable as some of the other games. But I will say this. I like this even more than the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, some fans are definitely divided on the game. They're not loving it as much as critics are, but I can definitely see why. Now, one of the biggest things that separates this apart from all the other Final Fantasy games is the fact that this game is rated M. That's right, guys. It's not T-rated. Square Enix decided to push the limits of the franchise and give it to a more hardcore audience. There is blood there is a big amount of F-bombs, and there are some very, very suggestive moments. And I'm not going to go any further because I want to keep this video monetized. But needless to say, I had so much fun with this game. And if players are looking for fun, then they're going to love this game. If people are looking for a good story, they're, they're also going to get that. I don't think it has the best story out of the franchise. Then again, I haven't played all the games though I do want to play more of the games. But I do think the story is pretty good. One thing that uh, I should note, though, is that this game is very cinematic. There are a lot of cutscenes, and they are long. I don't recommend skipping, though, because you may miss major plot details to the game, especially if you decide to skip side quests and just focus on the main story. And there are so many side quests. Throughout my journey, I played through, like, a little bit more than 50 hours, so yeah, this game doesn't have as much content as Tears of the Kingdom, but I feel like there's more than enough content here for players to be occupied for a while. There are so many side quests throughout this game. While it does start off just being your basic side quests, the side quests that you get actually do get better as the game progresses, as you'll unlock a lot of them as you progress through the story that do feel like they do have purpose, as they have their own cinematics too, so... It's definitely worth your time if you do play a lot of the side quests, and that's exactly what I did. I also did, like, some of those hunt things where you have to hunt for uh, monsters in order to get, you know, bonus rewards and stuff like that. Some are just stronger enemies of bosses that you already fought, and it honestly kind of reminded me of Monster Hunter a little bit, but I had fun doing them, so, yeah. I kind of want to go back and try to beat all of them because they do get harder and harder, but... Needless to say, in terms of the combat, I thought it was outstanding. I absolutely love the combat here. Now, sure, the combat definitely is something that most Final Fantasy fans aren't going to be too happy with because they mostly 
grew up with the basic turn-based uh, combat style, but since I never really got into that, as I'm pretty bad at turn-based games, I'm more of an action guy than a turn-based guy, but uh, I mean, I do enjoy quite a bit of turn-based games. Chrono Trigger, Persona 5, I talk about all the time, but needless to say, I think the combat here is excellent. It has by far the best action combat of the modern Final Fantasy games, and sure, it doesn't feel a whole lot like an RPG, as the RPG elements are actually kind of limited. Sure, you gain experience points, yes, you can get better, like, swords and stuff, but there really isn't that much customization. I mean, you do gain abilities, and you get abilities by uh, getting these uh, things called icons, in which you can equip them in order to gain new abilities that you can use on against enemies. And the gameplay never feels repetitive as you do gain those icons so you can get better abilities to use them on against enemies and uh, you can upgrade them as well. So I honestly had so much fun with using uh, the different skills that the game had to offer. And uh, I think Clive is an excellent new protagonist to the franchise. He is very likable, he's very edgy, he has good heart to him. I mean, he has a very strong relationship with his brother Joshua, who also has a big part in the game. So, yeah, oftentimes the game kind of feels a little bit like Brotherhood. Not like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, because they both have regular bodies, but... Yeah. Now, sure, in most Final Fantasy games, you can play as other characters as well, but... You only get to play as Clive in this game, which is kind of disappointing because the game has some really cool NPCs as well. Some very memorable ones and some allies that you do gain. But like I said, they're not with you throughout your entire adventure. I'm just going to say right now, the final boss, you have to play alone. You can't, like, uh, you don't have allies during that, so that's one thing that might worry some players, but I managed to get past it. The boss battles, too, I think are fantastic. There are those basic ones that are just basically your copy and paste specific bosses that you fight before. And there are some bosses where you turn into a giant monster and have to face off against them during a monster battle. But they are pretty cool, but I just prefer like your human form and fighting off with your sword and stuff. Because I feel like that just, that just makes it more suitable rather than you just turning into a Godzilla fight. But I can say without a doubt that the game is gorgeous. And while the game doesn't run as nicely as it should, like I played the game on performance mode and I could definitely notice some like frame rate drops or not frame rate drops. Like the performance definitely didn't run as well as it should have as I had it on performance mode the whole time. But the game never crashed. I never had any major bugs. And the game is gorgeous to look at. The scenery and all that. It is outstanding, though I kind of wish that the world was a little bit more open. Like, Final Fantasy XV's world was fully open, as you can explore every single area in that game. Basically, that was an open world game. This is more of a linear style. Take it like if it were something like Borderlands. Like, uh, you go to various different worlds and you... Yeah. So, I kind of would have liked it if the world was a bit more open, but... It still was very nice to look at, and there was still a lot to explore. A lot of different areas to explore, a lot of different quests to partake in, and a lot of engaging storyline moments, and the ending, I'm not going to spoil, but wow, that ending just... I honestly don't know what to say about the ending. It's... I'm also not sure how fans are going to feel about it. I mean, we might get DLC, there might be an expansion, I mean... Final Fantasy XV had an expansion, and we're going to be getting more from the Final Fantasy VII Remake pretty soon, so maybe? I, I, I don't know. But uh, either way, Final Fantasy XVI, I feel like, has a lot to live up to in terms of its combat style and its engaging storyline and its memorable characters. I feel like Square Enix really did a great one here. Square Enix hasn't been having the best reputation recently, but... I feel like when it comes to Final Fantasy, they still know what they're doing with the franchise. And uh, sure, it might not run as well as it should, but that can be fixed. And uh, it's not running as poorly as something like Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Like, the game is still very playable. Like, it never crashed or anything like that. Um, the game just, it really knows how to keep a player occupied. Every time there was a new side quest, I immediately just ignored the story for a minute so I could do those side quests. Because like I mentioned before, they do feel like they have a purpose. Most of them, anyway. 
they start up being eh, but then they get a lot better over time. And I honestly wish there were more side quests. I mean, it does have quite a bit, but I wouldn't mind if it was full of them because I had a lot of fun doing them. And the main storyline too, roughly takes about like, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 hours, maybe a little bit more. It depends which difficulty you're on. I was on story difficulty, so <laughs> yeah, basically I'm a wimp. But I just, I just wanted to have fun with the game and I only died like three or four times. But in the end guys, Final Fantasy 16 has a lot to live up to. Sure, old time fans might not appreciate it as much as newer fans and people say that uh, the game just ignored, you know, the true fans of the series, like it's not how they wanted it to be, just like the original games, but you know, it plays great. The story's good, the characters are memorable, I feel like it has a lot to live up to. It might not be the best in the series, I do think it's one of the best in the series, and in terms of modern Final Fantasy games, I feel like this is the best one to come out in recent memory. The combat is great, the skill system is great, it has a solid storyline, characters are memorable, it has a lot to offer. So people that just say that this game is trash because it doesn't respect old Final Fantasy fans, then <laughs> as long as the game plays well and as long as there's stuff that the game manages to do right, because there's a lot that the game does do right. Like, I don't really need to repeat myself. I'm, <laughs> it's at a point where I'm basically doing that, but all I can say is Final Fantasy 16 was definitely worth it. So yeah, needless to say, Final Fantasy 16, uh, well, I guess I can just say this. Da 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 <laughs> That I'm sorry, that's all I can think of as a as a line to say before I get my rating. I don't know, just you know that's that's the that's the success uh theme, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and uh I don't know what other games are coming out. I have been playing Diablo 4, uh, but I know Starfield's going to be coming out, Spider-Man 2, hopefully those won't disappoint, those won't be out for a few more months, but yeah. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.